In this laboratory lesson, we're going to develop a code for the Arduino that constantly reads the serial port, listening for new messages coming from ROS2. Additionally, upon receiving a new message, it will turn on or off the LED that is integrated on the board. To complete this lesson, you will need the Arduino board and a USB cable to connect it to your PC. All the code we are going to write during this lesson use a programming language that is a variant of the C++, specifically designed for the Arduino. If you are familiar with C++, then you will have no difficulties into following along with the development, even if you never used the Arduino before. However, if you are not familiar with C++, it might be a bit more challenging to understand the code. Nevertheless, as as always says, this is not a programming course, but a robotics course. So try to grasp the key concepts and the logic rather than the syntax of the language that we are using. In the following lessons, we are going to develop both Python and C++ Node for ROS2 to send messages to the Arduino serial port. And with this, we are going to enable the communication between the ROS2 and the Arduino. Then also, in the following lessons, we are also going to enable the reverse communication, so the one from Arduino to ROS2, enabling Arduino to send messages to ROS2. Let's start by creating a new ROS2 package that will contain all the code developed in this section. So let's go to our workspace and to the source folder, and here let's create a new package. So you are already familiar with the ROS2 package create command, and in this case let's use as build type amend cmake as we are going to insert both Python and C++ scripts in this package and then let's name this package Arduino bot firmware so let's press enter and this has created our new Arduino bot firmware package then let's go back to the workspace and let's build it so that the new package is recognized and is available in ROS2, so this one. Since in this lesson we want to develop the code for the Arduino board, which receives a command from the serial port and turns on or off a LED accordingly, we are going to use the Arduino IDE, which I had you download in one of the early setup lessons, so this one. In this IDE, so let's make it bigger, besides writing and compiling the code for the board, we can also directly upload the code to the board once we are going to connect it through the USB cable. So here we can compile it and here we can also upload the code to the board. By default, when we create a new project within the Arduino IDE, it comes initialized with a script that contains two functions, the setup function and the loop function. The first one, so this one, the setup function, will contain all the instructions that the Arduino needs to execute only once, so only at the startup of the board. Instead, the loop function, so this one, will contain all the instructions that the Arduino needs to execute repeatedly, so at regular time intervals defined by the controller's frequency. So let's start by defining a new global variable. So let's go here and let's define a new global variable. And let's call this one led pin and let's set it to 13. This indicates the number of the pin that is on the Arduino board to which the LED is connected and this is the onboard LED that is already integrated with the board itself. And we want to turn this LED on or off based on the message that was received on the serial port. So now in the setup function, so the one that is executed only once when the controller starts up, we need to initialize this specific pin, so the pin 13, where the LED is connected. And so let's use the function pin mode to set the LED pin variable and to set this one of type output. So basically, with this instruction, we are setting that we want to send an output command to this pin here in order to turn on or off the LED. By default, so at the controller startup, still in the setup function, we want the LED to be off. So let's use the digital 
write function to write on the lead pin and let's write a low tension and so this basically will turn off the LED if it was on. And next, still in the setup function, let's also initialize the serial communication. So the serial communication with the our PC and so with the ROS2 word. And let's use the serial begin. And within this function, we have to specify the baud of the connection. So let's set it to 115200. And additionally, let's set a timeout for the serial communication. So serial set timeout and let's set a timeout of one. With this, the board initialization is completed. So the setup function is completed. And now we can move on to define the behavior of the loop function. So the one that is executed repeatedly after the setup function. So here, let's check if we have any new messages on the serial port with the instruction serial available. So if there is any new message available on the serial port, so this means that our ROS2 node sent a new message to the Arduino, now we want to read this message within the Arduino. So to read this message, let's use the serial read string function and let's convert this one to an integer since we know that all the messages that we are going to receive from our ROS2 node are going to be integers. And let's store the output of this function into a new variable called x. And now let's check which is this message that we have just received. So basically let's check which is the message, so the content of the message that we have just received. So if the value of x is equal to zero, now, in this case, we want to turn off the LED. So let's use again the digital write function to write on the pin of the LED. And we want to write again a low tension, so in order to turn off the LED. Otherwise, so else, if we receive any other number, so any other command, we want to turn on the LED. So again, let's use the digital write function to write on the LED pin and in this case we want to write an high voltage and so basically this will turn on the LED. Finally, at the end of the if statement, so here, in order to avoid this loop to be executed too rapidly, let's add a small delay of 0.1. With this, we have completed our very simple script for the Arduino that receives a message from the serial port and turns off or on the LED based on the message that we have received. Now let's save this file, so with Ctrl S, and let's save it within the, our workspace and so within the new package that we have created, so the Arduino bot firmware, and here let's create a new folder called firmware and this will contain all the code for the Arduino that we are going to develop in this section. And let's call this one, so let's call this script simple serial receiver. So let's save it under this name. Let's conclude this lesson by compiling and loading this code into the Arduino board. So we can compile it to verify that there are no, er no errors. And actually we can see that there is an error indeed, because here there is a typo, time out, let's save and let's compile again. And now we can see that it compiled properly, so there are no more errors. And now let's save it one more time. And now we can connect our Arduino board to our PC using a USB cable. And before uploading the code to the board, we need to configure the Arduino IDE to indicate the type of the Arduino board that we are using and also the port to which it is connected. So in the tools section, let's change the board to the board that you are using. In my case, I'm using an Arduino Uno. And then still in the tools section, let's set the port. And here, as you can see, 
the Arduino IDE was able to automatically detect that at the port ACM0, in my case, is connected an Arduino Uno. So let's click on this port and be aware that in your case, it can be connected, for example, to a different port with a different name. So once you select the port correctly, now we can click on upload. And this command will first compile the code to check for any errors and then we load it into the Arduino boards and also it will automatically start its execution.